So I wanted to upgrade my computer to do stuff like compilation, Kubernetes, local test net, um, so a lot of server applications. So I need a lot of memory and of course a lot of cores. My budget was about $1,000 um, and yeah, I bought a crazy mainboard online. Uh, six days later, I'm really surprised, this beast arrived at home and it's, it's, it's really big. So if, if I put my hand next to it, oh my god. And yeah, it's the Epic 6. 7601 um, it has 32 cores 64 threads so I have 64 cores and 128 threads I have octa channel memory two times and um, PCI Express x16 so I can put two GPUs inside that's maybe in the future important if I do want to do some machine learning or maybe gaming I'm not sure if I can do gaming with it, okay. And um, three Peace Express X8 slots. And here are um, two um, network ports um, with 10 gigabyte per second and one with uh, one gigabyte per second. Then I have two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0. Uh, when the CPUs arrived, um, I think the price was about five thousand, four thousand to five thousand dollar for one. Now, um, because the price of the mainboard is about six hundred bucks, so I paid two hundred bucks for each thirty-two uh, core CPU. Um, and I looked already some guides online. Maybe I even can overclock them, but it's beautiful. Somehow I have to. Um, cool <laughs> the cpus and um of course i want that silence i bought two of these dark rock pro for the thread ripper uh they should work on the spc sp3 socket uh because they are mechanical identically then i bought some um tommel <laughs> the cutting edge tommel compound um and I hope uh, this will be good enough to um, to keep the course cold. Um, right now I don't have server memory. I know I need some uh, special kinds of um, memory with which are registered and which have error correction. I don't have them. I will just put my gaming uh, memory inside and I hope it will work. If not, I have to buy some server memory. Okay, the first cooler is installed. I think, um, yeah, so here will be the back of my main board and here will be the top. And I want that the air is blowing to the top. So I make that the fan go in that direction. And um, these are server CPUs. They are not consuming so much power. So I will just start with one fan um, because if if the fan is uh, like that, then it's very silent. But if I put the fan in the middle, um, this one will be much more loud. And of course, I want that my server is um, silent. So at first I will go with one fan per cooler 
if it's hot to hot, um, I will put the one in the middle also inside. Okay, now I installed both coolers and look at this beautiful machine. Oh my God, it's really, uh, it's, <laughs> it's a crazy computer. Um, um, so this Epic is very similar, like um, the 32 core CPU in the second Threadripper generation. But uh, the Threadripper had a little problem uh, because you have four dies and on every die is an 8-core CPU. And with the Threadripper second generation, um, two dies were not connected uh, to the memory. Um, but the Epic don't have this problem. Here we have real um, Octa channel memory. <laughs> so... Um, Every core, every core complex has is its dedicated um, memory channel, so um, there will not, won't be some strange uh, memory latency problems if you use every core. Okay, I'm trying to turn it on. It seems like um, the main board is working but I don't get a picture. I think it will not work with this kind of memory. So I'm really disappointed from Be Quiet. Um, online at the Supermicro website, they said this mainboard is extended ATX. My um, uh, Be Quiet Dark Base 900 is also um, extended ATX, but it seems it doesn't fit inside. Um, but I went into my basement and I found that case. Um, I used it many years ago. It's an Cooler Master HAFX. And this one is um, much bigger. So maybe I'm lucky and um, this mainboard will fit inside. Um, but the memory doesn't work. So um, today I will buy a small amount of registered um, memory with error correction. And if this one is working, then I will buy more. Yeah, but I'm very confident that oh, here's so much more options um, I'm confident this mainboard will fit inside okay now it's a few days later I ordered memory in the internet this one arrived here it's registered with ECC and I just ordered one because at first I want to test if the mainboard is really working and if it's working then I will buy more memory so with the new memory um, it's working. Um, the Titan V is not working right now, so I used the intern GPU on the mainboard with this VGA cable, and I was able to boot Windows. And look at that 64 cores, 128 threads, AMD Epic. 7601. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, now I have to um, make that the GPU is working. And um, <laughs> of course, one, one memory is not enough. I have to use every channel. So now I will buy more memory, uh, memory online. But what a beast. Seems like uh, I had luck. 
Now I will make a Cinebench run. Of course it will be slow because it's just one uh, memory uh, inside. So when I click start here, um, so I think it it should be about maybe 8,000, maybe 12,000, but not more because um, <laughs> so many threads, crazy. But I don't have the memory inside right now. But this is looking amazing. Wow. Just wow. That's beautiful. Yeah, and the score is 12,000. And I'm very sure if um, I have 16 memory banks inside, uh, maybe it will be 40,000 or 50,000. A few days passed and I got more memory. Uh, so this is 7 times 16 gigabyte of memory and I already have 16 inside, so now I will have 128 gigabyte of memory. And now my mainboard is sitting in my case inside. And yeah, there is enough space. Wow, it, it's looking so beautiful. And now I will put the memory inside. Now I'm running Cinebench again with um, 64 cores. Multi-threading is disabled and it's pretty fast now. But um, one of my memory sticks is not working. So right now I have a score of 35,000. So only 7 of 16 memory sticks are inside. Uh, the broken one I will um, swap it and then the score will maybe be about 40,000 points and um, with more memory it will uh, rise even more. Now um, 64 cores and 128 threads are enabled Finally, I have eight memory um, banks inside and the score is uh, 37,537 and um, in the future I will make another video when I have 16 um, memory banks inside. So thank you for watching.